Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of the Aberdeen Career Mode. Again, we're going um, pretty strong into the Aberdeen Career Mode, probably until the end of this year. Um, and then the Atlanta United Career Mode will come back, maybe even the Player Career Mode. Um, might come back earlier than then, just kind of depending. I'm recording a lot of videos, so like these videos are probably coming out the week of Christmas. Um, just because I got really behind on videos, so I really just wanted to try to stay ahead of them. Um, obviously, whenever I'm in like the trans the next transfer window in the career modes, I'll probably pause them just to get some input from you guys in terms of what types of players I should be signing and things like that. Um, but I do want to try to get caught up on videos as much as possible. Uh, in the last episode, though, we managed to draw against Rangers and get a win, which was our first win since episode one. So we're trying to keep that same kind of energy going into this episode as our game lags horribly um, against Hiberian. Hiberian, I believe, is pretty close to the top of the table, if not at the top of the table. Um, so absolutely huge game for us. We need to be focused up on to try and win this game. Andrew Carlton back in the starting lineup. Same team that played against Rangers is going to be playing in this game as well. Uh, the team's been working out really well. I'm finally starting to understand the team a little bit more um, and understand how they tick and things like that. We'll absolutely take that. Uh, I thought it was going to be a yellow card. I thought it was going to be a yellow card for sure. But that is okay. Oh my god, that pass was so bad. And yeah, nice. Ferguson. We love Ferguson. Carlton down to Ferguson. Ferguson. Oi! I wanted to cut that back with uh, with Boyle right there. Nice from right. Let's go. Stadium is quiet this game. Nice. Good run, brother. We're going to see if we can get that all the way down to... Oh, let's go! What a cross from Lee. Lay? How, whatever his name is. I'm pretty sure it's Lee, though. And that's what we're going to go with. Um, all the way across to Bravo. Bravo hits it first time. Easy goal. 1-0 up. Let's go, baby. If we can win this game, this will put us... Um, I think we're in like 6 right now, 5th or 6th. So this will put us, I guess, top 5, top 4 maybe. Um, of course, we're really trying to shoot for that 1st and 2nd place spot. Um, the board honestly just wants us to have a high position. They didn't even say like a number or like a top X, Y, Z type deal. So I guess it's like top half of the table. Um, is what they're really aiming for in our first season here, which is fine by me. Now right. I don't like it. Oh, it is going to work. Oh, oh. I wanted to put that near post. Oh, big boy header. I jumped a little too early, though. Caught it a little too high. Caught it a little too high. Also, my back brace comes in today, so I can fix my posture. I'll hype for that, because my back is already killing me, and we are four minutes into this episode. Well, four minutes into recording. Probably like 30 seconds into the episode. Nice, out to right. This is a good run here. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, I wanted that in the air a little bit. I couldn't get it up high enough. I think I maybe could have just put that in the air for Bravo, but I was kind of worried that a defender was going to be able to come across in time. That's an excellent cross. Let's just clear that up. Ooh, nice try from Boyle. The lots of the Again, playing against this old team. He's less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing. That's bad enough, but no real sign so far. We've had less possession, but we are playing on the counter pretty, pretty well here. You know, you'd like to have possession playing at home, but at the same time, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm just hearing that there's been a goal somewhere else. Alan McAnally is there. Attack. Last kick of the game. Or last kick of the first half, rather. If we can take this into halftime with the lead, we'll be in a good spot. Beautiful. Let's go, baby. 1-0 up against Hiberian. Um, he's in first half. We definitely could be playing better. Um, Hi Hibernian. Hibernian? Is that what it is? I know. Okay, I'm going to get roasted for saying Hiberian for this long. Hibernian? Is that what it is? Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. I know there's some Scottish person that's about to be pissed that I pronounced that wrong for four times straight. 
got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. Put that back in for Boyle. Waiting for Carlton. Oh, the pass from Boyle wasn't good enough. Okay, we could have done better there. Oh, what a pass. Little nutmeg. Oh, what a ball to right. Oh, my goodness. I think I could have crossed that to Bravo, too. Carlton. Oh. 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 Oh, what a finish. Let's go, Boyle, scoring against his old club. Let's go. At home, he's going to celebrate with the new boys. That was the most scuffed thing I've ever seen. I can't believe the defender didn't close me down. We got the finesse shot, though. We grabbed the goal. Let's go, man. They've used the possession so ruthlessly oh. at times it's been a thought i was covering that passing lane clearly was not what is happening in this game right now for the keeper. is there like a ghost player or something like what's wha what's going on where are these balls supposed to be going to Boyle. promise i'm still playing on ultimate difficulty now, can they make Boyle. This beautiful the good cut well cut that back through ball ferguson ferguson shot. three goals let's go baby 3-0 against Hiber, Hibernian, Hi, Hi, Hibern, Hibernian? Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. I give up. I give up. <sighs> but 3-0. I'm going to take a 3-0, man. I will take a 3-0. It has been a struggle start to the season. I think we finally figured out our starting lineup, though. Um, and the way our schedule is, honestly, like, we should be able to coast with this lineup and really not even make that many changes. Um, maybe make some changes to the type of players that we're bringing in as subs. But honestly, like, the defense has been playing great. Really, the only changes I guess we really have to ever make are, like, keeping people happy. But... The defense is doing well. The midfield is doing well. We're killing it, man. We're actually killing it. Oh, no. Nice try from Boyle. 3-0, baby. Let's go. We're off to a great start in this recording session. Great start to the recording session. Three goals. Dead man in the match was Lee, but it actually was Ferguson. Weird, but that's all right. Maybe he just snuck it in there at the end. They had one shot, zero on target. That is absolutely insane. We absolutely just killed them right there. So we'll go ahead and hop into the next game, see what we can do, train up the players a little bit, and uh, hopefully just keep moving up the table. That win put us, uh, we're actually in sixth place currently, um, but Kilmarnock, Kilmarnock? There's a better way to pronounce that. Um, could actually end up overtaking us, but we are one point underneath um, the team we managed to adjust to beat. So currently the table, as we see it, Celtic at 21 points, Motherwell and Hearts are both at 15, Rangers at 14, um, Hiber Hibernian is at 13, and Aberdeen is at 12. So we're not far off from the top. Hamilton still hasn't won a game, so that's pretty wild. Um, but let's go ahead and hop into the next one. McLennan is happy, and I will catch you guys in the next game. Perfect, perfect, All right, perfect, so uh, jumping into the next in. game, we are going to be playing against Motherwell, so another pretty big game here for us. Um, in the next episode, I did notice we're going to be playing against the top and the bottom of the league. We're going to be playing a game against Celtic. And then we're also going to be playing against Hamilton, the team who has not won a game yet. So hopefully we can come out with at least one win, um, regardless of which one of those two teams we beat. Um, but a win against Celtic would be massive. That would help us out on the table. It would help everybody else out on the table as well. What a play from Bravo right here. That play's not going to work. Oh. I should have just cut it back and passed it. Motherwell is a team that has been beating some teams just as bad as Celtic has. Um, but then other teams they're just like drawing against for no good reason. So they're a little hot and cold, but we'll see how they play against us. They're definitely trying the counter attack approach here. Um, they're building very, very fast. 
but we'll just do the exact same thing to them. I think this game's going to be super spread out. Ooh, you're not going to be faster than him, are you? Nope, you're not faster than Carol. Deservedly. I mean, they play so defensively, I guess I should counter it by also doing the exact same thing, or by just trying to press forward as much as possible, but like, that was just the most random ball that ended up working out for them. And those are the type of shots that I'm just not comfortable making right now, because I don't really trust anybody's long shot on this team. But maybe I should, because now at halftime, even though I feel like we've been dominating this game, Although the stats don't probably prove that. We're actually down 1-0 against Motherwell. Just checking the episode started with such a high and now I just don't know where it's going to go. No? Crazy. Ferguson. Hey, read the oh my the god, that pass was way too late anyways. Bad reaction time. Horrible reaction time. Goal news from Celtic. It's a second goal for Celtic. Celtic already grabbed two goals. That's another goal. Oh, it came off the post. No, man. 2 0. I mean, look, 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 look at all the holes in the defense, in the midfield. Players are coming to try to cover other people. I will say, I'm not a fan of how the AI defends this year. They almost try to cover for each other too often. I don't know if that's not going to work. There's literally nobody. Oh my god, everybody's playing like back post. Come on. They're going to be sitting like even further back now. Encouraging play from this team that could get a goal back here. Let's go. What a goal from Boyle. The build up was beautiful. I also forgot to mention the Bravo came off as well. Um, and McLennan is over there on the right side. But Boyle grabs the goal. Beautiful little pass right there. Also great pass. Good touch. Put it far post. Just to trip up the keeper a little bit. Worked perfectly. Let's go, baby. One more goal. Just over quarter of an hour left on my watch. Clever ball. It's gone to the goalkeeper. This is basically gonna be our last chance of the game right here. And we threw it away. Literally threw it away. Nice ball. Back to McLennan. But back in. Up to Gallagher. Boyle. Gallagher. Oh my god, Boyle. The pass every time is just not good enough. He's such a bad passer. We're going to lose. They literally just held the ball for 10 minutes. Not even that they played back. I literally just couldn't get the ball. There was always an open spot in the midfield. And again, I think that's just the difference between Young and uh, Gallagher. Or uh, Young and um, Ferguson, rather. We almost brought it back. 2-1. Could have been worse. I guess at least we minimized uh, goal differential. Um, God, I still can't believe they scored from that. First time hit from Turnbull. And they grabbed the goal. The game definitely was very, very different whenever Gallagher came on the field. We only had one shot that game. That is absolutely insane. We only had one freaking shot. Are you kidding me? We're gonna end out this episode with a press conference. Have you got time for a few questions? Um, confidence is solid. Disappointing game. Um, we can and should do better. He is a really good player. Just try to keep Thank the team you. happy any way we can. Because for some reason our team morale is just garbage right now. Uh, Kerr is happy about how much he is playing. I'm proud of him. And Cosgrove, uh, you still have a place in the squad, but not really. Um, other than that, let's see. We'll go ahead and throw up some training real quick. 
praying up the boys, see if we can get any ratings up a little bit higher. Of course, we are trying to work on Young's finishing a little bit, but we do start want to start working on his defensive ability as well uh, and ball control because, again, we want to make sure that he does um, just as good of a job as Ferguson is doing. So we'll start training him up there as well. I was kind of training him more of a center attacking mid to play um, instead of Carlton, but I'm actually really liking how uh, John Gallagher's been playing there, so I might keep him there and then change Young to... Uh, hopefully more of a box-to-box -box midfielder and then hopefully he still has a finishing ability um, where he is able to put away those goals so in the next episode again we are going to be playing against Celtic in the very first game of the episode and then going up against the bottom of the table in Hamilton so definitely make sure you guys stay tuned for that and other than that if you guys did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and until the next one I'll see you guys later